Professor Sivan and Professor Charpentier, please approach the podium for the presentation of the scroll and the prize. Okay, thank you, Professor Sivan, and I invite Professor Charpentier to respond. So, dear uh, President, uh, dear former President of the University, dear Vice President, uh, dear faculty members and colleagues, dear distinguished guests, and dear ladies and gentlemen, so it is a, a great honor for me to receive this uh, prestigious award from Ternion uh, University in Haifa. So together with my colleagues Jennifer Dauna, Fang Zhang, and Christos Papadimitriou, whom I congratulate uh, warmly. Also on behalf of my colleague uh, Jennifer Dauna, who could not uh, join us today, I am very grateful for your recognition of our uh, breakthrough work on the CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing technology. I would like surely to share this uh, recognition with my former and present team members and colleagues who have supported me during my career. The prize recognizes hard work and dedication of a team of young researchers with whom I have worked in a very cheerful, enjoyable and dynamic environment. To name a few who have contributed to the work awarded today, Maria Eckert, Elitsa Delcheva, Christoph Shelinsky and Martin Yinek. I acknowledge my colleagues uh, who have joined me on the CRISPR-Cas9 journey and who have trusted my hypotheses, ideas and interpretations, visions and wishes in this project which I have conducted in Austria, Sweden and now Germany. Our CRISPR-Cas9 journey started in 2006-2007 when we discovered an RNA molecule in the bacterial human pathogen Streptococcus pyogenes, now known as tracer RNA. We first showed that this molecule was encoded in the vicinity of what is now known as the CRISPR-Cas9 system. And this is actually at a European consortium called BACRNA, taking place in Ein Gedi, Israel, that my team first reported on this small RNA and the CRISPR-Cas system in s -Pyogenes. At this time, this was in 2000, early 2007, CRISPR-Cas was just hypothesized to be a uh, different system in Bacchia and Archaea against uh, viral attacks. Shortly after our discovery of this RNA molecule tracer, RNA, uh, first going in the, in the wrong direction regarding the role of this uh, RNA in bacterial cells, I connected this molecule to the bacterial CRISPR-Cas9 defense system. And we then went on to decipher the mechanism by which this uh, dual RNA-Cas9 enzyme confers immunity to invader DNA in bacteria, and demonstrating the harnessing of this mechanism as a powerful universal RNA programmable gene editing and genome engineering technology. CRISPR-Cas9 has since become a popular and versatile genetic tool to edit genes and their expression in all types of cells and organisms from bacteria and plants to animal and human cells. This technology is often referred to as the programmable scissors of DNA or the Swiss army knife of DNA, allowing precise gene surgery. In only a few years, the technology was adopted by thousands of laboratories around the world to develop CRISPR-Cas9 into innovative applications from diverse bioengineering applications to the engineering of safer plant crops to the treatment of serious genetic diseases and cancer. With this regard, I would like to thank Rodger Novak for his trust and support, and also Sean Foy for co-founding together ERS Genomics and CRISPR Therapeutics. Considerable efforts are currently made to develop CRISPR-Cas9 as a treatment to cure severe human diseases such as genetic disorders and cancer. It is worth mentioning that the entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial world uh, has picked up very quickly uh, the technology. The last few years have witnessed the opening of a considerable considerable number of new activities and jobs uh, working around the technology in the academic field, industry, biotech, and in the communication world. It is a very exciting time for this groundbreaking and transformative technology. 
So I've, as you have understood by now, the technology holds great promises for future biomedical, biotechnological and agricultural applications. What is very important for me to mention and critical is that this technology is actually the result of pure basic research. As a macrobiologist, I keep on advocating fundamental biological research. I strongly believe that only the true understanding of basic biological mechanisms allows us to be innovative and creative. In my case, it was research, my research on RNA-mediated regulatory mechanisms in bacteria, which after quite a few years of hard work and many hours in the lab, has led to this uh, revolutionary gene editing tool. I'm therefore, therefore very happy to see that basic biological science has not lost its value and that support is still given to scientists around the world who are eager to discover the molecular basis of life. We scientists enjoy freedom of research and appreciate generous support of funding bodies, public or private. I'm delighted that this recognition goes to my fields of research, fundamental macrobiology, genetics, biochemistry and molecular biology, which I've personally defended over the years during my international journey. I will take this honor as a mission to continue our efforts in deciphering the secrets of macrobiology with the hope that our current projects will open doors to new translational applications in life sciences and novel strategy for treating diseases in the future. Thank you for your trust and generosity. And I certainly look forward to the symposium tomorrow organized by Ternion University around Chris Parkas and to listen to the research of my colleagues at the university on this topic. And thank you for the scientists who have organized this symposium tomorrow. Thank you again.